Good evening, um, or good afternoon still. Uh, welcome to the June 8th meeting of the City of Davenport Zoning Board of Adjustment. The Zoning Board of Adjustment holds public hearings to consider the strict application of the zoning ordinance for hardship variances, special uses, and appeals. I'm Dan Darlin, Chairman of the Davenport Zoning Board of Adjustment. Members present today are from your left to right, Mike Galliart, Bridget Boyd Carlson, myself, Angela Abach, and Jeff Blumker. Staff present today are Laura Berkeley, Scott Copes, and attorney Mallory Bigby. If you have mobile device, please turn it off as it may interfere with the room's electronics. As we conduct our business, we expect that everyone here will conduct themselves in a respectful, courteous, and civil manner and will speak only after being recognized by the chair. The only exception to this standard is that staff is expected to interject when necessary to ensure we are properly conducting our business. If anyone wishes to speak on a particular agenda item, you will be provided an opportunity to do so. When recognized by me, please step to the podium, introduce yourself, and provide your input. By practice, each person is only permitted one opportunity to speak. Exceptions to that practice is at my discretion. And of course, if a board member asks a question of anyone, they'll be permitted to speak to answer that question, but I'll ask that you keep your response limited to the specific question. Are there any corrections to the minutes from our last meeting? It was April 23rd. Corrections, comments? Okay, if not, I'll entertain a motion for approval. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Um, the first item of business today is request HV 23-10, a Silver Star Car Wash, 1922 North Division Street for a hardship variance to locate a property screen dumpster north of the proposed building in the Pleasant Street corner side yard, approximately where the former alley was located in the northwest corner of the new parcel. Section 17.09.030.Q prohibits dumpsters within the front or corner side yard. Is the applicant here? Okay. Just want to make sure you're here before we dive into this further. Um, can the staff report, please? Scott Copes, DNS. Um, so just a little background. Uh, if you've noticed in the staff report, there was a rezoning at this location. The rezoning was just for these three uh, residential properties here, um, but the whole development is going to be on this half block all the way from Hickory Grove Road to Pleasant and to the alley to Division. Uh, the location of the dumpster is, as we said, in the northwest corner here, kind of in the partially vacated alley there. So there's a general concept plan and the uh, rendering. Um, so again, the reason we're here is because the dumpster cannot be in a corner side yard. So the yard between Pleasant and the building is considered the corner side yard. Um, actually, I guess now that I think about it, it, it's actually the, it would be either the rear yard or the front yard because we base it off of the least frontage. So it could be either of those in this situation. But at any, any rate, the, the code doesn't allow for the dumpster be, to be between the front wall of the building and the street, and that's what's being proposed. Um, essentially, though, how the, the lot's being used, it's a, like a side yard. Um, the dumpster will have the six foot solid privacy screening, which is required by code, that's not a problem. The applicant has said they're going to meet those requirements. Um, in addition, the through the rezoning um, ordinance 206, uh, there's a requirement for a six foot solid privacy fence between um, or at the property line along parallel to Pleasant Street. So. Not only is it screened with a six foot fence, but there's another fence, uh, maybe a few feet from it, that's also going to be screening the dumpster. So when people are on Pleasant Street, 
um, they're not going to be seen the dumpster enclosure. They'll be seen a solid fence. Um, and that's just the code section. So here's a more detailed site plan. Um, the one on the left is kind of, I zoomed in a little bit more. The red circle is where the enclosure is going. This, uh, you might not be able to see it, but it was in your staff report. The yellow triangle area is behind the building and that's where it could legally go. Um, that's where, because of the use of this site, that's where the drive-through is gonna be for the car wash. So it, uh, I mean, technically it might have been able to be sandwiched into this area here, but that's used for drainage. Uh, we have had 18 notices sent out, and we've had two that were sent back, one to the north and one to the south. And um, you've had those uh, emailed to you. If you have any specific questions, or if you, you didn't get the email or anything, you can let me know. But one was talking about the trash, and the other one said that they recommended in favor of for approval. The one to the south was recommending in favor for approval. The one to the north had comments about trash. Uh, in doing our approval standards, um, hardship proposed development is not able to meet code requirements given the parameters of the site and the code requirements. Code requirements in this case do place an undue burden on the use of the property. Criteria for this item have been met for hardship determination. And item number two, physical topographical conditions. Uh, staff's comments are that the physical site constraints of the property do limit development beyond mere inconvenience. Due to current circumstances, this criteria has been met. Item number three, demonstrable evidence regarding unique circumstances. This lot has three frontages, all three sides of the proposed building. Uh, the proposed enclosure locates the refuse enclosure in a manner in a si similar fashion to what you would see in a, a, a regular interior lot. This site does not pose unique does pose unique circumstance for refuse enclosure based on these characteristics. And the fourth one, a variance will not alter essential character. The character of the area should not be impacted given the lot is an irregular shape and the site plan would place the enclosure approximately 150 feet from Division Street, and then again behind not only the screening, but that six foot fence along Pleasant Street. The dumpster will be screened by the fence. Well, that's what I've just mentioned. So um, our findings are that the zoning code results in a hardship. The physical conditions of the, the limit the use of the property of the site. Unique circumstance has been established and essential character has been protected. Staff recommends the board adopt staff's findings and approve request HB 2310, subject to the condition that the dumpster shall be screened per city code. And that's also per what's been recommended or uh, for the su submitted site plan for the applicant. Uh, any questions at this time? Yeah. <clears throat> is, there, is there any uniqueness of this uh, circumstance? Are there any restrictions being placed on the, the size or style of the dumpster? Any specific allusion to size or style of the dumpster can be placed? No, there? staff doesn't feel that the size of the dumpster is one. It's it's in line with what most dumpsters are. It's not overly large, and two, staff didn't feel that making them have a smaller dumpster would really change anything, given the double fences that are going to be there. Well, I guess I was just thinking along the lines of yeah. in the future if they decide to use. Put a different dumpster than what yeah. they have now. Well, they're they're going to have a masonry wall on uh, three sides of it, and so um, you know the likelihood of them getting a larger dumpster, larger than that, is probably not very uh, not very large, given the the case of how the expense would be to go through a new masonry enclosure. Um, but that would be something if the board feels strongly about, that's something you could maybe put a condition on if you would like. Scott, do you know what the dimensions are of the enclosure? Maybe that's a better question for the applicant. Yeah, the, the applicant would have that. Again, like I said, it's, it's not 
out of the line of what we normally see sure. for uh, commercial businesses. But yeah, I think we're pretty sure that the applicant yeah. would have that detail. Thank you. Scott, I, can you read the, the one comment about the trash again? Yes. Um, um, it's from Terry Watkins, and it says, I have enough trash coming in my yard from the auto shop on the corner that I'm always picking up. I do not need more trash in my yard coming from the car wash too. There is a fence around the dumpster at the auto shop, but still I, well, didn't have high, have trash from the, that business always in my yard. And then it says the address 2004 20, North Division Street. And can you show on the map where that? Yeah, it's immediately to the north across Pleasant Street from the subject property. So this oh, this okay. star right there, which is, you know, abutting to across the street. And what auto shop are you talking about? There's a dealer or a used car dealer right. at okay. the corner here. Yeah, so right. it's not a repair shop. It's just a used car deal. Okay, car dealer. thanks. Any other questions? All right, thank you. Um, applicant, you can step up to the podium and... All right, so if you can introduce yourself and let us know why you're... Uh, Maggie Motto, I'm the civil engineer um, that designed the site for Silver Star Car Wash. And um, if you guys have any questions, I can ask. Can you, can you speak up some so the microphone catches sure. you? Yeah. What part do you need me to repeat all of it? Um, I guess you have anything to add to what the staff reported? Um, well, like um, Scott was saying, there's going to be, um, there, it's a CMU wall around uh, the dumpster. And there will also be a six foot wall fence on the north side of the property. If you can show it, you can kind of see it, but it says it right there. So it's going to be hard for the trash to, you know, jump over too two walls, but, um, and also the reason we really can't put the trash enclosure um, in the yellow line is because the, um, the trash truck, it, the truck right. would have a really hard time you know, to get out and then try to go out, uh, back out. And if they went to go to the front, they wouldn't be able to because the island's there. So it really is the only place that um, would work for the site. Okay. I had a question, excuse me. I had a question about the dimensions of the yes. of the site. It looks like it's um, what it's 14 by the, 10, is that that's correct? correct? Okay. Yep. So that kind of limits the size of the dumpster. Yes. I think you know what Jeff was alluding to. Yeah, it's a smaller size dumpster. <clears throat> it's okay. just for just the regular. It's not it's not a very big one. Can you imagine a scenario where the applicant may need something different? Uh, no, because the way the, the, the enclosure is, it's sitting on footings. And, I mean, if they wanted to do anything differently, they would have to completely demolish that and then build another one. So I don't know how they would be able to do. And, and, and this is, they've done a couple of these. They know the business. They know how much trash they um, have every day. So it's, and that's based on that size. So I don't, I doubt it. Is there both like a trash dumpster and a recycle dumpster, or is it just one container? It's, it's trash and recycle. Okay. I thought those dimensions, they probably have two of them in there. Okay. All right. Any other, any other questions for the applicant? All right. Thank you. All right, so anyone in the audience wishes to speak in favor of the request? It's so funny asking that when there's no one in the audience. <laughs> anyone in the audience who wished to speak opposed to the request? Um, and because we give those opportunities, then we then ask the applicant if they have any final comments. Okay. Um, having none, um, board discussion. I have no further questions. Issues concerned? I, I guess I would ask the board, does it make sense to consider putting some type of, um, you know, I hate to use the word restrictions, but 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 uh, specific parameters around the size and style of, of trash.
crash completed with the foot back here. Yeah, let me ask uh, staff if they were to um, have to redo their enclosure, would that have to come back in front of the, the ZBA to do that? Yeah, so technically the variance would lock them into the exact size that they have now. They could go smaller, but they couldn't go okay. larger. Very good. And, and the condition of um, requiring the, the fence per city code? So the good thing to have on there would be that if the code changes, um, it, it makes it clear that they're, they're required to meet the code as it is now. They wouldn't have to upgrade every time. Okay. So they would lock them into this code. Um, okay. I was curious about that because I thought it was fairly well implied that they'd have to right. adhere to the to all right. the codes, right? right? Not just this one, but this yep. locks them into yep. to this code as is written today. Right. Yep. Okay. Anything else? Um, then I would ask for a motion to uh, approve request HB 23-01 um, with the condition staff noted. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'll make that motion to approve request HB 23-10 with uh, staff's recommendation. Second. All right, uh, roll call please. Boyd Carlson. Yes. Leba. Yes. Blumker. Yes. Galliard. Yes. And Darlin. Yes. So you're passed. Um, all right, there's no other business, so I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. 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 Stereo. Aye. All right. Thanks, everyone. See you in two weeks. There is business in two weeks. Yep.